The ability to access data from Microsoft Dynamics AX in a web browser existed in previous versions of Xapta with the aid of the Enterprise Portal. In Dynamics AX, the Enterprise Portal has been updated to run on Windows SharePoint services, which allows users to configure role-based pages to collect information they need to carry out their jobs. Let's go and have a look at the Enterprise Portal running on Windows SharePoint services. So this is Microsoft Dynamics AX 4.0 Enterprise Portal. You'll notice that we still keep the familiar layout of the Enterprise Portal with the sales pages, the project, the purchasing, the different roles associated across the top. If I go into a specific role, for example, the sales area, you'll see the information is displayed as needed for that specific role. So the access to the customer information and then specific details needed for that customer. The power of Windows SharePoint services enables users to collect information as they need for their specific role. They can create their own role-based pages as they need by pulling together web parts with Windows SharePoint services. Let's go and create a new web part page to pull together this information. I'm going to go up to Create. In the list of options that I have available to create, one of them is a web part page. On this web part page we can select a name and then we can associate a specific layout design for this page. In this particular case I'll select a header, a left column and then a center body area. I'm going to save these into my sales documents. From here the user can build their page by simply dragging and dropping web parts onto the page. In my virtual server gallery what we'll find is a list of the web parts from Microsoft Dynamics AX. So for example, I could select the web menu web part and drag this onto my left column. I could select the web form web part and then drag this onto my body area. From here, we can use the configuration options provided on these parts to determine the information that's displayed. In this particular case, let's modify the web menu web part so I'm going to select it to be a vertical menu and the menu that I'll display is the EP Sales Home. I can click Apply and then you'll see the information displayed from Microsoft Dynamics AX. In this particular case, the Sales menu item. Let's go and configure the Web Form web part. Again, I can modify my shared web part and I can specify the specific properties. In this particular case, the web display content item name. So let's locate the EP customer table list. This will enable us to display a list of customers. Let's see this finished page. So you'll see that we've replicated the sales based role to a certain degree. But this is the customized information I might want to see as a user. The power of Windows SharePoint services also enables me to display information not only from the business application but other applications that we run in the enterprise. Let's for example add on here a SQL reporting services report. If I go up to modify my page, I can add on a new web part. Let's browse the catalog. From my list of web parts, what I can do is go back to the virtual server gallery and select the report viewer web part. Let's put that report viewer at the bottom of my page. We can go down and configure the properties of this part. In the properties of the report viewer web part, we can configure where our report manager is, the specific report that we need to get access to. We can also change the appearance of the report. In this particular case, we could change how much report area is used to display that report. If we click OK, this will allow us to display the report. So you'll notice that the report will be generated. And then as a user, on this one page, I have access to the information from Microsoft Dynamics and also information directly from that report that I've created here. Microsoft Dynamics AX Enterprise Portal, integrated with Windows SharePoint services, provides new ways for users to view and access data. The Enterprise Portal web parts can be displayed on a composite web part page with web parts from other sources, for example, Microsoft SQL Server 2005 reporting services. This enables users to create their own role-based pages in Enterprise Portal to display data and information that is relevant to their tasks.